Give us a cheer! to the uh, friends and family ceremony for Bob and Jess. Yeah. It was uh, 10 years ago that Bob and Jess met on this very beach and fell in love. I'm not sure if they fell in the love and fell in love on this beach or if it was somewhere else, but they met here. And uh, 10 years later, Bob proposed with the one ring. <laughs> the one ring forged by the Dark Lord Sauron himself. <laughs> Which, obviously, just that's his way of saying, yeah, he knows you're the boss, so. Um, but, uh, so you're married. That's fantastic. Uh, some people say things change when you get married. Some people say they say the same, I'm not sure. I do know you can no longer leave your swords just lying around for her to pick up afterwards. She's not your uh, maid. Squire. Sword wench. I don't know the. Uh, I don't know the appropriate term. It's 2012. Uh, speaking of 2012, well, we had to propose right before the end of the world. That's fantastic. You got six months. Every commitment foe out there is like, hey, that's that's a really good idea. Sure, honey, we can get married. The world's ending. I don't care. But uh, in all honesty, uh, how wonderful! I uh, I think I can speak for everyone. When we say congratulations, I think we all feel that uh, we are defined by the company we keep. And if you're our company, then we're doing very, very well. Yeah. 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 Bob, place the ring on Jess's hand. <laughs> Bob, do you take Jess to be a lawfully wedded wife? Oh yeah! <laughs> Jess, do you take Bob to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, by the power vested in me by the state of California, the Church of Universal Light or Life, I still can't remember which one it is, and by the power of Graceful, I now pronounce you man and wife. Thank you. Woo!